coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Aero Friedrich Schaffen is postponed. Changes to the Air Force song are approved. And the FAA releases NCAA Final Four information for general aviation pilots. I'm Sophie Herlock. Aero Friedrich Schaffen, which was originally scheduled for April 1st through the 4th, has been postponed due to the spread of the coronavirus. The new date for the event has not yet been announced. Klaus Wellman, the managing director of Messe Friedrich Schaffen, stated, The current situation with the coronavirus has resulted in a nasty domino effect. The industry members of the general aviation community also see the health and economic risks of the upcoming trade fair as too high. We share this assessment, but it's with a heavy heart that we now need to take this serious step together. At this point, there appears to be no issues with the upcoming AEA convention in Nashville or Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. EAA also stated there are no plans to curtail any aspects of Air Venture 2020. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Universal Avionics received EASA certification for its Clear Vision Enhanced Flight Vision System with Skylens Head Wearable Display. Clear Vision is a complete EFVS solution, providing head-up operations combined with enhanced vision, synthetic 3D terrain display, and a unique and optimized combined vision system. Clear Vision interfaces with a variety of display options, traditional fixed head-up display systems, head-down flight display systems, or wearable devices like the near-to-eye Skylens HWD. The UK CAA announced Flybe, which operated regional services from airports across the United Kingdom, has entered administration. All Flybe-operated flights are now cancelled, and Flybe is urging passengers to make their own alternative travel arrangements. Passengers traveling on flights operated by Flybe franchise partners should make contact with that airline to confirm travel arrangements. For the first time in more than four years, NASA is accepting applications for future astronauts. Aspiring Moon to Mars explorers have until 11.59 p.m., Tuesday, March 31st, to apply. The call for more astronauts comes at a time when the agency is preparing to send the first woman and the next man to the moon with the Artemis program. Exploring the moon during this decade will help prepare humanity for its next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars. USS Gerald R. Ford hit a major milestone on March 2nd, when Carrier Strike Group 12 assumed operational control of the first ship of the Navy's newest class of aircraft carrier, and the ship began flight deck certification off the coast of Norfolk, Virginia. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Air Force Chief of Staff General David L. Goldfein approved immediately updating a crucial verse of the official Air Force song to make it inclusive. Goldfein made the announcement about changes to the third verse to more than 2,000 airmen, industry officials, and retirees during a joint appearance with Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Calith O. Wright, at the Air Force Association's Air Warfare Symposium. The lyrics, To a friend we send a message of his brother men who fly, a toast to the host of men we boast the U.S. Air Force, has been changed to, To a friend we send a message of the brave who serve on high, a toast to the host of those we boast the U.S. Air Force. 
Goldfine also suggested further changes to the Air Force song might be considered. I want to open a conversation here, which I hope to have over the next few months about whether we also want to update the first verse, he said. I can tell you a number of stories of women who have been giving them the gun throughout the ages, but especially most recently as all combat positions are open. I'm also very respectful of the fact we've been singing the song at funerals and different events. It's part of who we are, and I personally think it's about time to update that to reflect all of us. General aviation pilots who want to fly around Atlanta between April 1st and the 7th should check out the FAA's notice to airmen for special air traffic procedures. The 2020 Final Four will be played on the first weekend of April, with semifinals on Saturday, April 4th, and the national championship game on Monday, April 6th at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Additional unmanned aircraft restrictions will also be in place the first week of April. Special air traffic procedures to enhance safety and minimize air traffic delays will be in effect for a number of airports. The NOTAM includes specific arrival route requirements for jet and turboprop aircraft. The FAA will publish multiple temporary flight restrictions centered on the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and other downtown Atlanta venues at various times between April 3rd and 6th. The TFRs will not affect regularly scheduled commercial flights at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. The FAA will post the full text and graphic depictions of the NCAA Final Four TFRs later in March. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.